hi everyone what is a concept in the machine learning so here the concept in the sense uh, which is describing subset of objects or subset of events which are defined over a large set of examples for example here this is a large set of training examples which is having a collection of animals so collection of animals is the large set of examples so from this it is uh, giving a subset of objects one of the subset is concept of cats another subset is concept of dogs another subset is uh, concept of horses another subset is concept of fishes like that concept of birds so from the large set of training examples which is deriving a subset of events or subset of objects which is called a concept that means which is learning so learning system is learning the knowledge or gaining the knowledge from the large set of training examples to uh, know the knowledge about subset of events to categorize the given animals so this is called a concept the uh, the concept learning is defined as acquiring the knowledge of a particular concept from given labeled examples that example may be a positive example or negative example so which is called a concept learning for example you look at here uh, this is one of the training example we have got in this given data set so the training example based upon the attribute values are given sunny warm normal strong warm same so this is given as a yes yes means positive tra uh, training example at the same time no means it is called a negative training example that we will see the later so now the concept learning is represented yes approximate boolean valued function in the training examples you look at here we are using uh, the positive examples and the negative examples so if it is yes that is positive examples sometimes it may be represented as a 0 uh, uh, i mean i mean 1 yes means 1 or sometimes it is represented as a true like that negative example will be represented as 0 or false sometime so uh, we can we, we may use no or 0 or false to represent the negative samples so here we are using the boolean valued functions boolean valued functions to represent the concept so which is derived from the large data set the large data set may be a set of animals or set of vehicles or a set of human so we may classify that each and every category the concept learning can be formulated as a problem statement of searching the hypothesis through predefined potential hypothesis space for selecting the hypothesis that selected hypothesis should be best hypothesis based upon given training samples for example here if when you are using the training samples this is the training example or data set called capital x or d from this we will derive the hypothesis so here you are having set of hypothesis you look at this this is the hypothesis structure we are having the in this hypothesis we are having the uh, three hypothesis among these three hypothesis we should select a best hypothesis so this is called hypothesis space it is having the set of hypothesis from the set of hypothesis we will uh, uh, we will derive the hypothesis i mean selecting the hypothesis that should be a best hypothesis among this three hypotheses we should select the best hypothesis based upon given training samples so that is called a, uh, a search space so here we are using this hypothesis space as a search space using the training samples to learn the concept from given uh, training data set here we will use the naturally occurring structure this is the hypothesis space structure so we are using the naturally occurring structure over the hypothesis space so here we are using the relationship general to specific ordering the here you look at that this is the general uh, 
general uh, location this is the specific so here the h2 is close to the general uh, general so that is it is your general hypothesis so the h1 h3 are close to the specific hypothesis when comparing with the h2 so it is called specific hypothesis so we are using some relationship on the order okay uh, general to specific ordering so you look at that this is the general specific then we are uh, then general hypothesis then we are ordering into the specific hypothesis so this is the way to uh, relate the general hypothesis and specific hypothesis by using the hypothesis structure here the example is given with the training examples four training examples given x1 x2 x3 x4 so this data set is having six features uh, and also called which are attributes here uh, sky is feature one uh, temporary is feature two humid is temp uh, feature three and uh, wind is feature four uh, water is feature five forecast is feature six this one is the target concept as per the concept learning so which is the car target concept we are going to learn by our learning system the problem statement is given here uh, days on which enjoys the favorite water sport is there any possibility to enjoy the water sport based upon the given uh, features or not when the uh, when the sky is rainy raining raining is there on the temperature is cold uh, humid humidity is high wind is strong water is warm a uh, forecast is change is there any possibility to play the game or not no not at all when there is the raining and the temperature is cold uh, so based upon this features given in the third sample there is no possibility to play the game on that particular day so here these are all represented by uh, set of attributes the task is problem statement is to learn to predict the value of enjoy sport for an arbitrary day that means here based upon the four samples our learning system software is trained to identify the new sample that is the arbitrary day in forthcoming day randomly we are giving the values like one of the day i am having here uh, sunny so here it is a uh, warm and it is a uh, normal it is a uh, uh, low low wind or uh, low wind and here it is a uh, cool and it is a uh, same so for this features what is the target concept so uh, our learning system to uh, predict this value to calculate this value of this feature i mean this sample number uh, uh, 10 for example sample number 10 this is new sample for this new sample we unknown about the target concept you look at that he would unknown about the ta target ca concept so our learning system should, ide should identify the uh, target concept by using these features so the uh, learning system already trained with these four samples so that is the uh, uh, task of our learning system so here the learning system is getting the getting the uh, subset of uh, knowledge from the large set of uh, uh, given population so here which is learning a hypothesis representation for the concept so it has to be identified the solution hypothesis from the uh, uh, large set of hypothesis space so this is the concept learning in machine learning thanks for watching